Indeed, I think Joseph E. Johnston was probably the most important military figure in the history of the Southern Confederacy, at least as far as the outcome of the war is concerned. To be sure, Robert E. Lee has a greater role in Confederate military history as it has been written. But in Confederate military history as it happened, I think Joseph E. Johnston was the most important of Confederate generals. Johnston commanded an army, the army, that won the first major battle of the war in 1861 at a time when Robert E. Lee was a desk officer in Richmond. Johnston commanded a Confederate army that was active in the field for two and a half weeks after Lee surrendered in 1865. Johnston commanded Confederate armies in Virginia, Tennessee, Mississippi, Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina. In addition, Confederate forces in Florida, Alabama, and East Louisiana were subject to his orders at one time or another. He commanded the Confederate Army in the two most important military campaigns of the war, Vicksburg in 1863 and Atlanta in 1864. His quarrel with Jefferson Davis, which is a fascinating subject in itself. You know, Mary Chesnut, the great Confederate writer, made the observation one time to the effect of, I thought this was a war for Southern independence, but it's just a quarrel between Jeff Davis and Joe Johnston. <laughs> that quarrel runs like an angry scar through the history of the Confederacy and is arguably one of the key reasons for a Confederate defeat in the war. Johnston is a, absolutely crucial to Confederate military history. 